Hi, I'm Cassie with Me Time, and this is five mistakes that will ruin your machine embroidery project. We've all been there. You set out to create a beautiful project, and somewhere along the line, it gets ruined. <laughs> We're sad. <laughs> That's why we've compiled a list of five common five common machine embroidery mistakes and how to fix them. So that way you can tackle your next embroidery project with confidence. Number one is skimming your project instructions. It's a familiar story, isn't it? You start doing your embroidery project and you start feeling good about it. And so we start not looking at the instructions as much as we should. And then that's when the chaos happens and all of a sudden your project it gets messed up. Here at Me Time, we have a whole team of experts who spend months making sure that the instructions and the projects work well together. So if you follow your instructions to a T, they will not lead you astray. In fact, several of these following mistakes can be avoided by simply following your instructions. Number two is leaving your machine unattended. There's an old wives tale in the machine embroidery community that if you leave your machine alone, that's when everything goes haywire. To be safe, we do recommend that you stay with your machine during every single stitch to make sure that nothing goes haywire, that your bobbins aren't breaking, your needles aren't breaking, or your chair isn't hitting the back of your hoop. If you do need to leave your machine for any reason, we recommend pushing stop first before you leave your machine unattended. Number three is using the wrong stabilizer. We understand that stabilizer can feel a little bit overwhelming. There's so many choices out there. However, here at Me Time, we make sure that we take the guesswork out of that for you. At the beginning of your instructions, we list which stabilizer is recommended for that particular project. During our testing process, we test all of our projects out using the Kimberbell stabilizer, which is available in the Me Time store. Number four is forgetting to use paper tape. Paper tape is your lifesaver, y'all. To avoid shifting or folding, paper tape is your best friend. It keeps everything stuck down so that it doesn't move. We recommend Kimberbell's paper tape because it doesn't gum up your machine or your needle and it keeps things nice and doesn't leave a sticky residue on your fabric. Doing too much with my hand, I'm like a robot. Our last tip of the day, which is number five, is not to overstretch your fabric or your stabilizer. The reason why we don't want to do this is fabric is stretchy. If you put it in your hoop and then you stretch it really tight, when you take it out, it's gonna just bounce right back and then you're gonna get puckering. Resist the urge to tug on your fabric and your stabilizer. Just lay it nice and flat and then tighten up your hoop. And that's it. Now that you know the top five mistakes to avoid with your machine embroidery projects, we wish you the best of luck as you start stitching. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow all of our social media platforms. And feel free to share this video with anyone who's just getting started with machine embroidery. Now go enjoy some well-deserved me time.